going everyone? Right, so for today's masterclass, uh, you will need water and you will need headphones uh, because I'm going to be using music as usual for the breathwork session and the meditation towards the end. So you're going to need uh, headphones to get the best effect, otherwise you won't hear the sound properly. Water for hydration. So we're gonna get straight into it today. So we've done a breath, breath work masterclass yesterday and the day before, so this is the third session. For anybody that missed the other sessions, I do recommend you watch the recordings to understand the framework, because I'm not gonna repeat it all again, obviously. So we've done two one hour sessions already over the last two days. This is the third session of the five. I'm gonna wait for people to log in and uh, I'm gonna give it five minutes. Actually, people keep logging in and out quite a lot. So I'm gonna give it till 10 past and we're gonna get started with the first breath work exercise straight away. Now I normally will do a bit of breath work myself, so cheese, uh, just please, um, whilst we're waiting, so. Thank you very much for joining in, who's just joined us. So we've got um, Kuti9, Someone Winter UK, Arjun Jain, Whitey Naughty, D, D Kahuna, Nayana Go Damp, Aesthetic Essence 03, Mary Bestelli, Spirit.x, thank you very much for joining back in again. Hush MP, Monica2018, Nadia, also Official Backs 01. So it looks like we've actually got a lot of new people. So didn't join us um, the breathwork framework session one and two. That's fine. You can still join in. Obviously, it's more powerful if you do the sessions as we're going along. So if you're going to join today and you get benefit from it, please uh, join session four and five. And if you can, please go back and watch session one and two. They were about one hour each. But most of the concepts that I need to explain, I did repeat them again yesterday because we just had a lot of new people. So IGTV, unfortunately, is is, is one of those platforms where it's you're going to get new people coming in and out. It's just the nature of the platform. So uh, the Zoom classes that I will be doing will be same people, same session, um, same people every time. And obviously, new people joining in would have done the sessions before, so it would be a lot more orderly and a lot more professional as a breathwork session. IGTV, a little bit difficult to handle <laughs> with a, as a breathwork session live, but we managed the last two sessions and people got a lot out of it. So thank you very much for everyone that joined and got some benefits out of it. So, so we went into some trance-like states, okay? So please uh, do not ask any questions during this session. This is a breathwork masterclass. If you have any, you're gonna have questions about the breathwork, especially if you missed the first two sessions. This is the third session. So most of those answers are probably in the first two sessions. And also on www.themindofmatter.com. I'm saying www. because I know some people tried themindofmatter.com and had a problem with it, so we've got to fix that. But www.themindofmatter.com. The free course, eight module course on the breathwork is there. 
and you should complete that ideally. So these five sessions that I'm doing here, just to help you understand, are actually for those that have completed the Breathwork Framework course. But I had so many new people yesterday and the day before that I ended up covering a lot of the concepts again. So I don't want to cover them all again because obviously it's just repet repetition and it's just wasting time, especially for those that have been here for session one and two. And many people are watching the recording. So to repeat, to, to avoid repetition and wasting people's time, of course, some of you are new, so you want the repetition, but rather than me repeat, you need to go back and watch session one and two, okay? Now, for now, you're here, obviously stay here in this session, but please do understand that you've missed two sessions. Hey Steve, thank you very much for joining in. Hey Kamenatsu. Hey V33. Hey Shani Bab. Shani Ab. So we've got a few people joined in today. Thank you very much. Okay, so we're going to break into it in two minutes. Two minutes now. So remember, you need headphones, you need water. So if you haven't got your headphones on already, get your headphones ready. You're going to need them straight away. And you're going to need your water. So two minutes. Two minutes. I'll give you three minutes, get ready. There is no point being here if you're not here to do breath, breath work. This is not something you just want to watch. It's not for entertainment, this is for practitioners. So practitioners is what we need. We need people that do the practice. Without practice, you do not get anywhere. You can read as many books as you like. You can read as much as you want about breath work and meditation. It won't get you anywhere because it's about practice. So we do practice. I'm a practitioner. I practice breath work, I practice meditation, I practice going to the gym, I practice going for walking in meditation, walking in nature, I practice. I practice qigong, I practice martial arts, I practice. So without practice, you do not develop yourself, it's that simple, okay? So we are here to do serious breath work, serious breath work. Again, you need your headphones, you need your water. Uh, seated is fine. Now, uh, one of the, well, I have a session of four, uh, session four or five, okay, the next two sessions, I'm gonna do standing up because we're gonna bring Qigong into it and we're gonna bring the Kundalini energy up to the next level. So yesterday and the day before, we worked with Kundalini energy, the Ida Nadi, the Pingala Nadi, the Shushumna channel. The Shushumna channel is the central channel which all the energy, the Prana flows up and down. So on the full exhalation, we visualize the energy going down. Okay, with the full inhalation, we visualize the energy going up. And we also spoke about the eighth chakra, which is about a foot above your head, which is actually your connection to your higher intelligence. That's where it is. So that chakra is what we connected to yesterday and the day before. Today, I'm not gonna really focus on that too much. What we're going to focus more is um, not the visualizations uh, because I've already covered all that. So I've covered the visualizations. I've covered the Ida Nadi, Bengala Nadi, Shashumna channel, right? The Shashumna channel, the Shashumna channel, the central channel, the vortex of energy. Prana travels up. Remember, Prana is not breath. Prana is the life force behind breath. That is why on the full exhalation, you also have Prana. Even on the breath retention, you have Prana. This is why you can stay alive whilst holding your breath because you still have Prana. So what we do a lot with the camo breathwork framework is a lot of breath retention because that enhances your ability to harness prana, which is life force energy, not breath. There are nonsense breathwork practitioners out there which have miscommunicated what prana is and they call breath prana. It is not. Prana is the life force energy behind breath. On the exhalation, when you have no breath, there is prana. When you do the breath retention, there is prana. So understand, so I spoke about this in a lot of detail yesterday's session and the session before. For those, because there's a lot of new people here, I need to say it again. So prana is not breath. Prana is available on the full exhalation, when you hold the exhalation and when you hold the breath. That's the energy we're connecting with. Kundalini energy is awakened by prana. Okay, which we did yesterday and the day before. 
The chi is what we feel through movement. Chi energy is what we feel through hand movement and movement. Okay, so that we're bringing in into the next two sessions. Okay, we're not bringing that in yet. Okay, so feeling chi energy is also life force energy, but chi is life force energy we feel with our hands and movement. Prana is life force energy we connect with through breath. Okay, so understand the difference. Now, we've got that out of the way. What we need to do now is get into the practice again. Okay, so the camo breathwork framework on the mindabatter.com if you've done it. Okay, the four full steps of the framework. Okay, first step of the framework is 10 to 20 full exhalations out, okay? This is the standard framework. Then a pause for 10 to 20 seconds, then 10 to 20 full inhalations in, then breath retention, then rhythmic breathing. And it's all done through the mouth, okay? That's the standard camo breathwork framework that is taught on the website, okay? Now, in the masterclass here, I'm taking things a bit further, okay? And as I will be with the Zoom classes. So, We're going to start firstly, uh, oh, other thing I also spoke about, just to recap, I spoke in depth about brainwave frequencies. So normally you're in beta brainwave frequency, 12 to 25 cycles per second. When we go into a relaxed, slightly meditative state, we're going down to 8 to 12 cycles per second. When we go into trance-like states, which I also took you into in the last two sessions, okay, we go into theta, which is 8 to 4 cycles per second. We also went into gamma, which is a high frequency mode, peak performance flow state. Okay, and we go into there, especially when we do the, the real deep breathing in, the inhalation, and then hold the breath, we go into gamma. And gamma brainwave frequencies are 25 to 100 cycles per second plus. So that's when you get into peak performance state and you perform better. Okay, so that's when your, your focus, you can focus on doing stuff, but do it in a better state of mind than a normal waking person. So you do it in flow state. So I do most of my things in flow state. When I'm trading stock markets, flow state. When I'm presenting, flow state. When I go to the gym, I get in flow state. So I'm always going into gamma. So we practice going into gamma, theta, and alpha yesterday, okay? So as a recap, what we're gonna do now, uh, we're focusing today more on reducing anxiety and stress. So reducing anxiety and stress uh, we're going to take it a little bit more easy than the last two sessions. Okay, we're going to focus a bit more on, uh, initially we're going to do it through the mouth, but then we're going to stop doing it through the mouth and we're going to start doing it through the nose because it's going to become more of a relaxation exercise, right? So the relaxation exercise is something that uh, we want to break into slowly, but we want to start with the mouth breathing Okay, again, like we did in the last two sessions, the last two sessions, we only did mouth breathing, but I did mention that I do use nostril breathing for the camo breath work. Okay, but it's uh, more so for relaxation and especially for reducing anxiety and stress. So um, I did say I was gonna share a hack. So the hack with the breath work framework, so the full exhalation out um, goes a little bit like this, if anybody missed the last two sessions, it's out of the mouth. <sighs> and the hands guide the energy prana down, okay? Down through the Shoshona channel, okay? Now, when we do the inhalation, we guide the energy up with the hands. <laughs> and remember, the tongue has to go on the roof of the mouth when we, when we breathe in through the mouth. That's what makes that noise. <laughs> There we visualize the vortex of energy traveling up the Shushumna channel and out through the crown chakra connecting to the eighth chakra as I explained in the last two sessions, right? Then we did the breath retention and we're holding the breath. And then we did, uh, so the breath retention was at least 30 seconds, but then we pushed it to as long as you can, okay? And ideally you wanna push the breath retention to quite a level where you, you find it a little bit uncomfortable, but obviously, you got to test your limits, basically. So don't be scared. Test your limits. It's all about breaking limits and overcoming doubts at the end of the day. So now following on from the last few sessions, I wanted to cover, there's a little hack that you can do. So if you're out and about and you don't want to do the full session, the full camo breath work, which I shared over the last two days, what you can do is just break into straight into the full inhalation Okay, so if you just say you feel a little bit stressed and you've got a little bit of anxiety, 
just going about your day you might be at work you might be out and about somewhere it doesn't matter right you might be doing work okay or i might have a stressful day trading stock markets or whatever i might have a losing trade and i'm a little stressed okay i might just have a stressful situation in life it could be anything okay you could have a stressful situation with i don't know god knows what website problems or whatever right it's just stuff going on okay it could be anything in my business work anything right life okay so some stress is is sometimes going to trigger you unexpectedly so you can't always go away and sit down and go 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 and find a place to sit down and meditate and do the full breath work session so what i do in these situations is i just do five to ten full inhalations in and then just do a little breath retention okay 10 to 20 seconds is enough and it will just break your state because your state of mind most of it is physiology okay in neurolinguistic programming as i explained before i'm a certified neurolinguistic programming practitioner since 2005 and master practitioner practitioner since 2006 so in neurolinguistic programming you learn that your state of mind 55 percent is down to physiology so how you hold your body but also how you breathe so when you're depressed you're breathing shallow when you when you're anxious you're typically breathing really irregular so when you have anxiety your breathing is very irregular so you need to take control of your breath so as i said in the last two sessions when you take control of breath you master your unconscious mind right and most of your thoughts are unconscious okay 4.3 to 20 million bits of information is processed unconsciously that's why you're breathing mostly unconsciously so most people are just breathing unconsciously now with normal unconscious breathing if you don't do conscious breath work you're mostly just keeping carbon dioxide in your cells because most people are not breathing in enough oxygen so on the exhale you're bringing in carbon dioxide on the inhale you're bringing in oxygen so this is why we do a combination of mastering the whole process full exhalations full inhalations breath retention and then rhythmic breathing in and out that's the four steps of the framework right so a little hack when you just need some confidence and you just want to reduce anxiety worry stress is to just jump straight away to the full inhalation and then just do a small breath retention not the 30 seconds to as long as you can just 10 to 20 seconds okay so it would just be something as simple as this okay hold your breath and what it will do okay so 10 to 20 seconds what it will do is break your state because instantly your physiology has changed so your anxiety will be triggering a physiological response okay or stress will be triggering a physiological response most of the time it's irregular heartbeat your blood pump starts pumping through your veins a little bit irregular as well because of the irregular heartbeat which is pumping the blood through your veins so when you take control of that even just by taking a few deep breaths and then some breath retention it just brings it back to a regular steady pace so you instantly will hack your anxiety instantly will hack your stress whenever you need it okay so that was the hack i wanted to share all right before we go into the rest of the session all right so it's a it's it's, it's not the full framework that we cover the last two days okay it's just a little hack if you just need to deal with stress and anxiety quickly and you don't want to do the full three minute session okay camera breathwork framework only takes three minutes anyway okay and we did longer sessions over we i mean last two sessions were one hour long but we've done lots of explanations but the hack is you just want to bring prana energy in right okay remember exhalation is also prana too okay breath retention is also prana prana is not breath prana is the life force energy that creates breath okay so this is why when you practice holding your breath longer with the full camera breath work you get better and better with that you get more control of your unconscious mind your conscious mind is only processing 128 to 300 bits of information per second your unconscious mind so you, that's just conscious choices and decisions most of your thoughts are un unconscious they're on autopilot they're habitual thoughts habitual patterns so they're very difficult to stop so as i explained in the last two sessions i keep saying the last two sessions because i explained so much i explained that if you take control of breath you master the unconscious mind 
So it's the way to master your thoughts on the unconscious level without having to even deal with the thoughts. Because you can't fix the problem on the same level of the problem, the level of the thoughts. So we go to the level of the breath. So that was the hack. Now we're going to go into reducing anxiety and stress. Okay, now ideally for anxiety and stress, you want to use the breath work so it becomes, well, my breath work is a meditation anyway, and it is yoga, as I explained again in the last two sessions. It's yoga and meditation. Yoga, union with the divine, because we connected to God and the divine intelligence and the space around us. And we went into an altered state of consciousness, right? So that is connecting with God and the divine intelligence, the eighth chakra that I spoke about yesterday. So we did that. We're not going to do that again today. What we're going to focus on today is reducing stress and anxiety using the same breath work framework, but I'm going to then slowly take it into using the nostril rather than the mouth breathing okay we focused purely on mouth breathing the last two sessions so today i'm going to bring nostril breathing in because nostril breathing is useful for relaxation and relaxation is useful for reducing stress and anxiety all right so the hack what i've just showed you there was just full inhalation five to ten times then breath retention <laughs> Then hold the breath for 10 to 20 seconds and you instantly will change your state of mind and reduce anxiety. Okay, that's the hack. However, to really stay on top of anxiety, especially if your anxiety is at a high level, you need to do a longer session. That's the hack you can do when you're out and about, but you still will need to do a longer session every day if you're suffering with anxiety and stress because anxiety don't just go away like that. Stress don't just stop. Okay. You can hack it and stop it in that moment with the hack that I told you, but you don't want it really showing up in the first place, right? So, so you don't want it showing up in the first place. So what we're going to do, we're going to do a guided breath work now. Okay, guided breath work. So you need your headphones now. As I said, you need your headphones. I know there's a lot of people logging in and out, but... This is what happened yesterday in the session before, so we just have to ignore it because we started at six o'clock and people should get here on time to start the session. So, you know, we're doing this like a proper masterclass, right? So, as I said, you need your water. Now's the time to get your water and your headphones on. All right, you got your headphones on. So we're going to start with the full exhalation out through the mouth. Okay. Ready? Okay, full exhalation out. Remember the stomach needs to go in and it needs to be forced out fully. So you're focusing on forcing the exhalation out. You will inhale anyway. There's always an unconscious breath. Okay. So what we're doing in step one is focusing on the exhalation. Step two, we're focusing on the inhalation. When you focus on the inhalation, you're gonna exhale anyway. So don't worry about the exhalation in step two. And the step one, don't worry about the inhalation. Step three, we're gonna hold the breath. Step four, we're gonna do rhythmic breathing. Okay, we're gonna do it through the mouth a few times and then we're gonna start doing it through the nostrils. Okay, out through the mouth. just holding the you're not doing anything you're just letting yourself breathe normally okay now we're going to go for the full inhalation in remember the hands up shashumna channel vortex of energy traveling up okay inhale roof the tongue on the roof of the mouth Hold the breath. 
Hold the breath. Hold the breath. and you're struggling a little bit, just move instead of breathing. Always fight your need to breathe. Okay, with the breath retention, that's how you break your limitations. That's how you activate your pineal gland, okay? When you're done with the breath retention, rhythmic breathing in and out. So in through the mouth, out through the mouth. Rhythm of the ocean, rhythm of the ocean. Rhythm of the ocean. Okay, now just breathe normally in through the nose and out through the mouth. At your own pace, in through the nose, out through the mouth. the next step now now we're going to do the camo breath work through the nostrils okay so we're going to exhale through the nose they're going to inhale through the nose they want to breathe in and hold the breath okay I'm going to tell you when to stop holding the breath and then we're going to do the rhythmic breathing so I'll guide you through it so ready in through the mo okay in through the nose In through the nose, okay? It's gonna be out through the nose as well, okay? So just take a few deep breaths in through the nose firstly. Don't worry about the exhale, just in. You will exhale anyway. Just need to get some breath in through the nostril. Do not focus on the exhale, you will exhale automatically. Just bring the prana in. It. Okay, now exhale through the nostrils. Okay, once you've got the exhalation, exhalation out, you're going to feel a little bit lightheaded. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Okay, now inhalation through the mouth. Okay, inhalation through the nostrils, sorry. Inhalation through the nostrils. Okay, just inhalation, you're focusing on the inhalation. Just as much inhalation as possible. Do not focus on the exhalation. Okay, ready, go.
Okay, your sound might go funny. The sound will go funny. You might get lightheaded. You will get dizzy. Okay, now hold your breath. Hold your breath. Okay, let go of the breath. In and out through the mouth. To the rhythm of the ocean. In and out through the mouth. Okay, we're gonna go back to using the mouth. Out through the mouth, full exhalation. If you're getting out of breath and you're getting really warm, it's okay, just stop and just take a breathe. breather. Just take a breather. This is a trance, because I'm taking you theta, remember? Theta is a trance-like state. So you should not be fall, you should not be feeling fully conscious. I can't breathe, I can't breathe or talk normally right now because I'm in a trance-like state. Okay, so trance-like state will be dizzy. I'm gonna be doing this because when I'm in a trance-like state, I like to go side to side or round and round. Okay, if you feel nat uh, naturally you wanna do the movement, okay, just like the last two sessions, I'm gonna forget how to talk. I'm gonna forget how to talk as I go into the trance-like state. I'm gonna keep trying. Okay, but right now, if you're, full, if you're feeling the need to move, move your body like this. Or side to side. Or round and round. Spiraling is good, spiraling is good, spiraling is good. Or side to side is fine. Okay, we're gonna do the we're gonna do the breath work through the mouth again. Okay, lightheaded dizziness. Your five senses are fucked with. That's normal because you're going into a trance-like state. We're going into theta. We're going into theta. Four to eight cycles per second. Four to eight cycles per second. Rock your body back and forth, left to right, round and round to help yourself get into the trance-like state. Now you're just breathing normally right now. All right, I'm a bit tranced out right now, so I'm gonna find it hard to keep talking you through it. So, all right. I wanna do one more guided breath work and then we're just gonna to have to relax and let go. Okay, then I want you to keep breathing how you feel is right, okay? Using what I've just taught you. So if you've been there for the last three sessions, use a combination. Okay, you know the camera breath work now. Okay, full exhalation now, pause. Okay, full exhalation now a number of times, then pause, then full inhalation in. Okay, as much as you can, then pause and then breath retention. Then hold your breath. When you're done with holding your breath, then you do some rhythmic breathing. Now use your own pace after I've done the next guided breath work session. So I won't be able to talk after this one. I can feel it already. All right. All right. Ready for the next guided one. All right, we're gonna do it through the mouth again. Full exhalation out through the mouth. Forcefully as you can. Remember, you do not need to focus on the inhalation on step one. You're only focusing on exhalation. For full exhalation out. Normally, 
Unconscious breathing only now. Unconscious breathing only now. Not conscious breathing. Let your unconscious mind take control of the breathing. No conscious breathing now. No conscious breathing now whatsoever. Okay, let your unconscious mind rock. Do the rocking. See, I keep changing from back to forth, side to side, and spinning around because it's unconscious. When you're in theta, it's all unconscious mind. You're, you, you're not conscious. It's not conscious mind, okay? You're semi-conscious. All right, we're gonna go for the full inhalation in. We're gonna go for about 10 to 20. Okay, I don't know exactly how many I'm gonna take in, but whenever I say stop and hold your breath, stop and hold your breath. Now ideally, hold your breath as long as you can. If you feel like you need to breathe whilst you're holding your breath, do not breathe, just move, use the movement. Use the movement, use the rocking or the spiraling action, either backwards and forwards or side to side. It will help you get into theta and stay in theta, okay? So, full breath, full breath in, then breath retention for as long as you can. When you're done with the breath retention, you're gonna do breath in and out through the mouth, like the rhythm of the ocean, okay? You're gonna to need to do that to help yourself get back to a little bit of normality after, because the trance-like state, if you're in a little bit now, you're gonna take it to a very high level in a few minutes, okay? Well, within, a, within the next minute or two, because it's that quick, all right. All right, full inhalation in now. Okay, we're ready for it. Full inhalation in, then breath retention. When you're done with the breath retention for as long as you can, then rhythmic breathing. Okay, full inhalation in. Remember with the full inhalation in, guiding the energy, the prana upwards with your hands, up the Shushumna channel, upwards. Okay, the vortex of energy traveling through the seven chakras, up through the top of the head, connecting you to the eighth chakra, as we discussed in the last two sessions. That's where you find God. non-local source of intelligence, non-local. Not local, it's non-local. The television will break, the broadcasting signal will still be there. All right, full inhalation in. breath to add more pressure to the pineal gland take more breath <laughs> then hold it as long as you can Thank you. 
breath retention, just the rhythmic breathing, remember, remove the ocean. When you're done with this, remember you'll be in theta, trance-like state. Keep your eyes closed. And now just breathe how you feel is right. Okay? Unconsciously. When you're done with the breathing in and out. Now just do your own breath work. Okay, how you feel is right because you're in theta, you're in a trance-like state if you've done this correctly. I definitely am, so I can't talk anymore. So the rest of the session, I'm not gonna talk. I'm just gonna stay in my trance-like state. I'm not gonna talk anymore. I'm gonna go into the trance-like state. I'm gonna end the live, okay? Anybody that's joined us later, you can watch the recording later because you've missed it. <laughs> All right. Now just sit with it. Sit with the trance like theta brainwave frequencies. Connect with the space around you. Notice you will feel lighter, less physical. Connected more with a subtle matter, the subtle energy that surrounds your body, your aura, which is the etheric energy field. Notice your consciousness is now more so connected to the space around you. Not to the body you are in. Connected to the empty space around you, not to the body you are in. Not the mind, not the body, but the space around you. As you go further into the theta trance-like state, connect with the space around you. The space around you, not the body inside, not the body. Connect to the space around you. moment to get back to reality.
Okay. So it's a bit difficult once you're going into a trance-like state to talk. So I normally go into gamma when I'm speaking. Alpha for relax relaxation sessions. Normally I'm in gamma for the high energy sessions. But when we go into theta, like a because we're reducing anxiety and stress. So what we've just done there, so the beginning of the session, I gave you the hack to reduce anxiety and stress in, what, like 10 seconds, doesn't matter where you are. But as I said, to reduce anxiety and stress for occurring in the first place, you need to practice something like what we've just done now in the later part of the session on a daily basis to stop it from arising in the first place on a regular basis, okay? So going into alpha and theta, on a consistent daily basis. I uh, talked about the brainwave frequencies in a lot of detail in the last two sessions. Anyone that's joined the masterclass session here today, this was session three out of five. Okay, I've already done two masterclass sessions. Uh, one was done on Saturday, one was done on Sunday, one was done today. So this is the third out of the, the five sessions. So all five should be attended, but I know people are logging in and out. so. If you think you can benefit from it, I think you should go back and watch Masterclass Session 1 and 2 and then watch this again because it will make more sense. All right, thank you very much for joining in. Much love. Have a great day. Have a great evening, day, wherever you are. Much love.